Now here's the question. Are you the type that likes to uh, play with your candy? <laughs> perhaps you would like to wear it. Well, these are nerds ropes and they can be a necklace, perhaps a, uh, a bracelet, or they can be stretched out like that. Now, how do they think of these things and how do they make them? Hmm, let's watch. Call it colorful and crazy, twisty or tasty, Nerds Rope stretch the imagination. Nerds Rope is quite, quite something. It's a gummy center covered in rainbow nerds. It's like a big delicious strand of DNA. Nerds Ropes are fairly new, but regular nerds have been around since 1983. The most popular flavors are grape and strawberry. And if you like them tart, they also make sour nerds in flavors like lightning lemon and amped apple. Usually one box of Nerds has two flavors, but the Nerds rope is like a cluster of five colors and flavors. Grape, orange, lemon, watermelon, and strawberry. It's, it's quite an experience. Willy Wonka invited us into his private factory in Itasca, Illinois, where Nerds ropes roll off the conveyor in, not feet, but miles. If we were to line up all of our Nerds ropes that we make in one day, end to end, we'd have over 60 miles of Nerds rope. Believe it or not, it's thought this sugary strand came about by accident. The word around the factory is that one day there were a load of nerds laying around and somebody was experimenting with some gummies. That mystery inventor apparently dribbled some of the gummy mixture over a pile of nerds and then he went to lunch. And then when they came back, they discovered this amazing thing. And then they set about how to, how to create this so that lots of people could enjoy it. And they were very successful. <laughs> Before you can have a Nerds rope, you have to have Nerds. Nerds are just this iconic, amazing candy that have tons of character. I mean, I think when you see them being made, it just, it just blows your mind. More than 150 million of these tiny, crunchy candies coat the ropes each day. Basically, we start off with a sugar crystal, and we just keep coating it with, uh, with more sugar, liquid corn syrup. The sugar spins in pans like this and slowly grows into lots of uniquely shaped nerds. We keep adding sugar on in different layers uh, until we get the full nerd. Check out these naked nerds. This is what they look like before they add color. From the time we start to the time that we're done, it's about six hours. Meantime, the Gummy Center cooks with gelatin, sugar, and a special ingredient, citric acid for fruity flavor. We're gonna take this We'll cook that mixture, um, and that gives us this gummy. This gummy then is formed into the rope. From there, we run it through a shower of a gajillion nerds. This is not a shower of nerds. It's more like a storm. Countless little candies cover the long, sticky red ropes. Then they cut them and cool them down. And within a few minutes, a conveyor leads the finished ropes to a container called a U-board. And that U-board allows us to, to be able to wrap it, uh, so it'll maintain its shape uh, as we send it out. Each rainbow-colored creation slides into a shiny foil wrapper. As for what happens next, well, that's up to whoever opens it. Nerd Rope is just one of those super, super creative candies. I mean, it's just like pure imagination. <laughs> I would say it's a one of a kind, absolutely. So the next time your kids want a colorful candy addition to play dress up, how about a Nerds Rope Ring or Belt for Candy Bling? Nerds Ropes make a funny fashion statement and an even better edible accessory. 